Turning from the visible role of women at the United Nations to a silent battle going on behind the scenes. It's the fight to become the next Secretary General. Ban Ki-moon's tenure ends in 2016, but already there are a number of candidates lining up. So how do you choose someone to represent the world? CCTV's Nick Harper takes a closer look. He's the world's top diplomat. But with Ban Ki-moon's time in charge coming to an end, thoughts are now turning to who's going to replace him. Most candidates are yet to announce their intention to run. But already there's controversy about how fair and open the selection process really is. Legally, it's the General Assembly who appoints the Secretary General, but it's on the recommendation of the Security Council. And when it comes down to it, the Council only ever suggests one name, the person it wants. Here's the problem. There are 193 UN member countries, but it's the 15-member Security Council that gets the say in who's selected. There are five permanent members, China, Russia, the US, the UK and France. A candidate needs at least nine yes votes from the council. So if any one of the five permanent members votes no, the candidate is instantly rejected. The current process is one which is very closed. It has very, very serious lowest common denominator forces in the procedure that should be changed. William Pace has spent several decades campaigning for reform at the United Nations. He wants a more formal selection process with applications and interviews and the decision-making opened up to more countries. The procedure now is one, basically, we are leaving it to the United States, uh, Russia and China to try and come to an agreement on an individual that they could work with uh, as Secretary General. It is a, uh, a process that will be uh, very dangerous this time with the very bad relations uh, between these principal uh, veto member governments at, in the Security Council. There's never been a Secretary General from Eastern Europe, so many feel it's their turn. But the current crisis in Ukraine may rule out that region. While there's no official list of candidates, and never likely to be, there are still plenty of names being talked about. And this time, the field is full of female candidates, like UNESCO's executive director, Irina Bakova from Bulgaria, Brazil's Dilma Rousseff, or former New Zealand Prime Minister Helen Clark. And leading the men, it's Australia's former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd. But the Secretary General is usually a lesser known figure from a less prominent country. So in the past, they've come from places like Peru and Myanmar. More recently, we've had Boutros Boutros Ghali from Egypt, Kofi Annan from Ghana, and Ban Ki moon, the Foreign Affairs and Trade Minister from South Korea. Change is never easy. But 2016 could be a big year for women, possibly the first female U.S. president and perhaps the U.N.'s first female secretary general. Nick Harper, CCTV, New York.